So in recent years, the common complaint of Disney and Pixar is that there's been too many animated sequels. Well, that's all going to change over the next two years, as we're going to see Disney and Pixar return to completely original stories once again. However, because of that, we also know very little about what these animated movies will be about. So for today, let's dive into what we know so far. Up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack and this is of course DS1 Newscast and before we get started be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel and also whilst you're at it hit that notification bell and select all notifications so therefore that way you never miss a video. And with that out of the way, now let's get straight into it. And the way I think is best to structure this type of video is to simply do it in a chronological order. So let's begin with Pixar Soul, which will be released this November and is directed by Pete Docter who was the director of Monsters, Inc., Up! and Inside Out. And it will feature Jamie Foxx voicing the lead character of Joe Gardner, a middle school music teacher who has long dreamed of performing his jazz music on stage. And then the day he finally gets his chance to perform as the opening act at the Half Note Club, Joe suffers an untimely accident that causes his song to be separated from his body and begin the process of going to the great beyond. However, Joe then escapes to the great before, which is a place where souls go to develop personalities, quirks and traits before being sent down to earth. And it's in the great before where Joe encounters a character called 22, voiced by SNL and 30 Rock star Tina Fey, who is a soul with a disenchanted view of life on earth. And in the final trailer, we've learnt that Joe is actually alive on life support, and Joe and 22 end up falling toward Joe's body. So all of that is spoiler free, as that's everything that we know so far from the existing trailers. But considering that Pixar movies usually have a plot twist that isn't featured in the trailer, it makes me think that Joe still being alive and the two of them falling towards his body is obviously not the plot twist. But instead, my prediction is that the emotional plot twist of this movie will revolve around how 22 came to the great beyond and why she is so absolutely uninterested and doesn't want anything to do with being a human on Earth. But besides this extremely creative and original narrative that is a hallmark of all Pixar movies, Soul also promises gorgeous world building much like we saw in Inside Out, along with a wide use of multiple animation styles that is not often seen within CGI animated movies. And on top of all of that, the score is being composed by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, and it will also feature an original soundtrack of jazz songs written by John Batiste of Stay Human. However, the last thing to discuss about Soul is probably the fact that it should have been released by now, as it was originally scheduled to arrive in theatres on June 19th. But then, because of a pandemic, Disney had to shuffle their release schedule, and this Pixar movie took the slot of Disney's Raya and The Last Dragon, that was supposed to be released the weekend before Thanksgiving Thanksgiving on November 20th, 2020. Now the official line from Disney is that Soul will be a theatrical only release, but given the unpredictable nature of this pandemic and the possible reclosure of theatres or the continuation of tight restrictions on theatre capacity, which might make a theatrical release unprofitable for Disney. Therefore, depending on the reception that the live action Mulan receives as part of the Disney Plus premiere on September 4th for a one-time fee of $30, then perhaps Soul might come to paid video on demand services shortly after its release, if not Disney Plus premiere for Thanksgiving weekend. But one thing is for certain, and that is that we can all look forward to Soul being available in one form or another by November 20th at the very latest. Now you're gonna have to bear with me for the rest of this video as you see all of the other upcoming movies on this list don't have any actual footage released in the way of trailers, sneak peeks, previews or teasers to accompany the details and the synopsis. But don't worry, I'll do my best to try and make it somewhat visually interesting. So as previously mentioned, Disney's next animated movie will be Raya and The Last Dragon. And despite Soul taking its original release date, we won't have to wait too much longer. 
as it is now scheduled for March 12th, 2021. And this movie will be the directorial debut for Paul Briggs and Dean Wellens, who have previously worked on Princess and the Frog, Tangled, and Zootopia. However, this movie is set in the fictional realm of Lumandra, which is a reimagined Earth inhabited by ancient civilizations, or otherwise known as the Five Clans of the Dragon, and will centre around a fearless and passionate warrior called Raya, who is voiced by Cassie Steele as she journeys across mysterious lands to find the last water dragon, called Saisu, who is voiced by Aquafina. Now, we are still yet to receive an official trailer for this movie, but considering that the movie comes out next March, I expect that we'll probably see a trailer within the next month or so. Although, what I can tell you is that this movie features some of the most incredible and visually stunning animation that Disney has ever created. And the movie also draws inspiration from Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Which is a great move by Disney as it expands the cultural diversification of landscapes, artistry, and themes that Disney can then later draw upon for future Disney Park projects as well. And then the next animated movie after Raya and the Last Dragon will be from Pixar called Luca, which is set to be released on June 18th, 2021. And this movie will be a coming of age story set in a beautiful town in the Italian Riviera, where Luca and his best friend have an unforgettable summer filled with gelato, pasta, and endless scooter rides. But all of these fun-filled adventures are threatened by Luca's deeply held secret that he's actually a sea monster from another world just below the water's surface. And yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that as the plot twist. But besides that synopsis, details are fairly scarce on this movie at the moment. But what we do know is that it will be the feature-length directorial debut of Enrico Casarosa, who has previously directed the Pixar short La Luna, which is often considered to be one of Pixar's best short films, not only in its animation style, but also the beautifully simplistic yet imaginative story concept. And then thanks to the DizInsider.com, the last upcoming animated movie that we know about has the working title of Encanto, with this to be a Walt Disney Animation Studios movie that is directed by Byron Howard and Jared Bush, who previously brought us 2016 Zootopia. And this movie is said to be set in Colombia, with a translation of the word Encanto from Spanish to English, meaning charm. And that's exactly what this movie is about, as apparently it will centre around a young girl and her family, who all have magical powers, but sadly the young girl has no such powers. Now the other exciting aspect of this movie is that it will see the songwriter Lin-Manuel Miranda write music for yet another Disney movie, as he previously co-wrote the music for Moana in 2016 and is currently working on the live action remake of The Little Mermaid. So it's going to be extremely interesting to see and hear what this team has in store with Encanto when it's tentatively released on November 24th, 2021. So that nicely takes us all the way up to the end of 2021, but you're probably also wondering about 2022. As after all, Pixar has two movies scheduled, with one on March 11th and one on June 17th, and Disney has an animated movie scheduled for November 23rd, 2022 as well. But what I can tell you, thanks to our friends at thedizinsider.com, is that one of the upcoming Pixar movies in 2022 is supposedly going to centre around a main character who has a disability, which will be fantastic, as it will be a huge leap forward for representative cinema, and enables more children to identify with the characters that they see within the animation, whilst also widening their world view. And this, in many ways, will be building on top of Pixar's incredible work with the Pixar Spark short series, and more specifically, Loop which enlightens us all to see the world through the eyes of a non-verbal autistic girl on a school field trip. So in summary, Disney and Pixar are clearly returning to their original story roots over the next two years. But as always, stay tuned to DSY Newscast, and also importantly, check out the DizInsider.com, which I'll link to down below, as it really is the best news source anywhere on the internet for everything to do with Disney movie news. But now, it's over to you, the Walton Ears, as I would like to know what are all your thoughts and opinions about these original movies coming out from Disney and Pixar over the coming years, and also which is your favourite and why. And also, if you could pick a location, region, or country 
for an upcoming Disney or Pixar movie, then what would it be? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video, along with your suggestion or your comment, to be on the chance for one of these official DSMI newscast enamel pins. And congratulations to this Waltonier here for me this suggestion from a previous video, where I was armchair imagineering a ride for Inside Out at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so that you always receive an update, and also if you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up, as it really does help this channel out, and I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon. Oh, <laughs>